hello people welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i showed my face on the video and i have missed you guys a lot but i've been keeping up on my promise remember making my videos teaching you everything nigerian from nigerian man to nigerian traditions to nigerian cultures i also promised to teach you how to make some nigerian delicacies that is nigerian food yes so this is what i've been doing for like some few weeks now but last week i also posted a video where i was teaching you how to say some very nice and romantic words in Igbo, and i'm still going to continue that episode because of course we've only just started so i thought about it and i said to myself there is no nigerian without nigerian pidgin english that is true so if you want dating a nigerian man or dating a nigerian woman or have nigerian friends around you might really want to equip yourself with nigerian pidgin english and it is to that effect that i am bringing you some nigerian pidgin english that you can actually actually learn very fast and understand what that nigerian guy has been saying to his friend you know that you do not even understand but will you go ahead to understand you know like more uh, difficult pidgin you need to start from something that is really simple and elementary so i have made it so simple i have broken it down for you and i am going to start from the scratch and see if you my ladies and gentlemen yes i say gentlemen because i've come to realize that not only ladies are watching me so it is to that effect i am going to teach you very simple pidgin english today okay let's start with if you meet someone normally like there are some very simple things we say like how are you what's your name where are you from okay where are you going things like these are very simple and elementary so i have decided to start to teach you pidgin starting from the basics and the first do not mind me of course i will look into what i have written so that i know the teacher doesn't get confused okay so i have started by making it so simple so i'm going to start by what do you actually say when you meet someone say you meet a nigerian person see let me tell you there is no nigerian without nigerian pidgin english and when nigerians gather around <laughs> ladies and gentlemen when nigerians gather around please will let English fly out of the window that is one thing that you should know we do not waste our time speaking English like English is something that you need to really articulate when you speak so that you don't use present tense in, in place of past tense or use uh, something else you know with English you gotta be right sometimes we're wrong believe me because we also have our mother tongue I have said enough already so let's get into the teaching so i will start by when you see someone okay and you want to say hello usually the english people will say how are you or how are you doing right yes but as a nigerian and as a girl it's a pigeon <laughs> if i see you but then i go tell you be how far how far now? How you day? How far and how you day are actually the same thing. Yes. How you day means how are you doing? How far is a slang for how are you doing? See? Means like how far, but it means how are you doing? So when you meet that Nigerian person, you say to them, how far? Brother, how far? And what you usually hear as in reply would be I day meaning I am fine I am good okay so that's one thing you should know very easy you see someone you say how far how are you doing I day okay so let's move on to the next so then 
you want to ask this person, what's your name? You go ahead and say, waiting be your name. English people would say, what's your name, right? Yes, the Americans, the English people, they will say, what's your name? What is your name? To shorten it, what's your name? So but the Nigerian girl, me, Miriam, a girl always a bit pigeon. When I see you, I will say, waiting be your name. And then you, as a person with Sabi Pigeon, you want to reply me in the Nigerian Pigeon English. You would say, My name na Marian. My name na Marian. My name is Marian. Okay? That's it. Or, my name is na Malicious. <laughs> so that's it. Let's move on to the next. So, I have taught you, remember these two things that I've just taught you. How are you? And what's your name? How you did? And waiting be your name. And then answering to waiting be your name, you would say, My name na malicious. My name na Miriam. My name na whatever it is your name is. Okay? Alright. So the next one that I'll be teaching you is, Where are you from? Okay, so you see someone and you'd like to know where they are from in a pigeon way. You go say, Yes, I'm speaking pigeon. You go say, meaning you will say, Where are you from? It is so close to English. Where are you from? Meaning, Where are you from? And the person will go ahead to reply you, I be from Nigeria. I be from Nigeria. That is what the person will answer you. Something else I would like to teach you is, you see someone and you want to ask the person, where are you going? Yes, your man is walking out and you want to say, babe, where are you going? You say, babe, where you they go? Babe, where you they go? Honey, where you they go? Honey, where you they go? Where are you going? And the person will be like, I they go outside, I'm going outside. I they go outside, I'm going outside. Okay? Something else you should learn is, can I come? You see someone and you're talking to the person and you want to ask, or you're talking to your phone or your boo on the phone, and you're like, honey, can I come over? You'll be like, babe, I feel come. I feet come, meaning can I come over? Okay, that is it. Then something else you could say is, I am going. I they go. I they go. Meaning, I, Miriam, I'm going. I they go. Or you could say, I don't they go. Meaning, I am about to go. So the don is like differentiating it, meaning about, like I don't they go. Okay? I don't they go. Write it in whatever way. I would like you to write it in whatever way it is that you would actually remember. So I don't they go means I'm about to go. Something else is a beg. We always use this one, a beg. My love, yes, sweetie. We always use this one, I beg. It means please. I beg means please. If you say, babe, I beg. If you buy me that is here with tonight, babe, I beg. If you buy me whatever, babe, I beg. If you bring me that chair, babe, I beg. If you bring for me water, babe, I beg. If you help me close that door, you know, it's like, I beg, meaning, please, can you, please, I beg is just simply, please, okay, you fit means, can you, so I beg, you fit means, please, can you, please, can you do this, please, can you do that, please, can you come, I beg, you fit, come, I beg, you fit, give me that remote, I beg, you fit, give me that water, I beg you feet to help me. You know, please can you help me do this? Okay? 
that's it for a bag okay it just simply means okay then when you say a bag commot 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 is a word of its own it means go away go it means go go away so when someone says commot they mean go if someone says to you a bag commot the person means please go then if someone says to you i beg come out here joe i beg come out from here it means please go away from here can you just can you see how sweet bidding is i beg i beg come out here joe i beg come out here i don't get your time <laughs> babe guys see now interpreting is the end thing it's just like when you see nigerian artists singing with pg that's how you get those readings that people are vibing to eh? <laughs> you know it's just like in fact there's nothing to say pg is sweet that's it so let me teach you something else if you want to say who told you you could say who tell you who and tell and you very simple who tell you Maybe this, let's just say you come to me and you say something, Miriam, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, who tell you? Or who tell you that thing? Who tell you that one? Like, who told you that? Meaning, who tell you that one? Or who tell you that thing? But if I say who tell you, means who told you? Who tell you that one? Who told you that? Who tell you that thing? Who told you that thing? <laughs> oh boy can you feel the reading can you like just feel it okay let me speak pigeon to you for like one minute telling you some things I don't know like come on so mm, okay pigeon no person be with that be we we go grammar school together Babe, uh-uh, you be this, oh boy, see, groovy, don't say, how about you now, uh-uh, don't say, uh -uh. see them, how pop see them, uh-uh, what about that, your small lady like that, that your small sister, we know the hear what that year, hey, <laughs> hey, now, well, as she did, uh-uh, are you serious, uh-uh, she don't become bigger like that, eh, she get boyfriend, oh boy, see, be smart, you know. Children do they grow, they grow anyhow. <laughs> well, yeah, my friend, now why don't they come gist me now? Gist me, waiting they happen. How you day, how life, eh? Don't they? Huh? Now, wow. In fact, I'm so happy to see you. I tell you, I really did so happy to see you. Can you see that? That is you meeting someone from long time ago and you were so excited and you guys kind of had an encounter that was the pigeon i just spoke for you so ladies if you would like to learn more pigeon tell me exactly what you want and i would deliver always delivering on my promises even though sometimes it's hard to you know it's hard to carry out but i keep delivering right so right now i'm still delivering on my promises of cooking yes it gets so boring sometimes when i feel like i've not shown my face for a while this is why i decided like oh no 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 it can't be all cooking no we have to just finish up with this cooking thing and get into something else so ladies tell me what would you like to see yeah i'm getting a bit bored looking for like topics things to say things to discuss so if there's anything like really anything you would like us to talk about to just about everything nigerian though mm -hmm. tell me we can talk about it okay my ladies so this is it from me to you bringing to you nigerian pigeon english we will be bringing you more nigerian pigeon english this is just like basic pigeon that you can actually learn we also have some slangs like pigeon slangs that you might want to keep up your sleeves just in case you need to use them 
once in a while it really comes in handy believe me so ladies without further ado do have a lovely day do have a happy day stay happy stay blessed then bye bye do not get tired of seeing me in black remember why i have black on until the storm is over bye ladies